boy. Georgie too. Yeah. Look at these Christmas jumpers. Look at these two reindeer. Everybody. Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Ma. Oh, she's on FaceTime with Samantha. Merry Christmas, Samantha. My sister's not here. So, Bo Beach. Pee on that elf dog, good boy. Snoopy, Snoopy, hi. Hello, mate. Hello, hello. Alfie is your bestie. happening what's going on welcome to another beautiful beautiful day I say another beautiful day I'm sitting out in the Sun it's like nine o'clock in the morning I've got my bare feet on the ground and a little bit of journaling I'm getting sunlight into my eyes because it hasn't been uh, this sort of blue sky weather for a while when I get sunlight in my eyes first thing in the morning sort of 16 hours later helps my body go into a cycle of going to sleep. Um, I don't know if any of you guys listen to the Huberman. Andrew Huberman is a, um, he has this podcast and he is a scientist and he just, he pulls all of the latest research about really interesting stuff onto his podcast. And one of the things he was talking about was getting sunlight on your skin and in your eyes as early as you can. And that helps <clears throat> our internal, like natural cycle of, waking up and going to sleep. So I looked outside and the sky was blue this morning. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go and sit and get the photons of light in my retinas. I just sit and enjoy and meditate. I've done some breath work as well. Um, and I, before the sun was up, I also did about half an hour worth of sort of yoga and stretching this morning. So I'm on to a good start. And um, yeah, today we're gonna go for a little dog walk, um, which sounds very exciting, I know, but I'm gonna spice things up a little bit. I've got I've got a new drone and I really want to try it out. So, and we're going to go for a dog walk in a forest nearby. So I'm going to try and fly my new drone. I thought I'd make a little vlog today and say, how's it? And um, Merry Christmas and all of those good things. It's remarkable actually just how much better I feel, obviously for getting my bare feet on the ground. It seems so obvious. And of course people will think you are super weird, but you know what, fuck them because I feel great. What's more important than feeling good, right? So if this makes you feel good, do it. Christmas coffee. This place is called Moores Valley. It's just down the road from where my parents live. And it's actually so nice. Look at these guys just swanning over. Yeah, I said it. Love it. The light's looking quite nice. So, oi, I'm going to throw the drone at the dog. Sorry, Georgie. This tiny little DJI Mini 3.
fast. See ya. <laughs> Done. Quick review of the Mini 3. I love it. It's quiet and super lightweight and I don't have to add my phone to the controller, that's a bonus. So this thing is gonna be coming with me on hikes for sure when I get back to Cape Town as well. Trees are a little bit boring, but it was a good place to test it out, definitely. More to come, more, more drone shots to come with this bad boy for sure. Always good to get the maiden flight out the way with the new drone. I used half of one battery in 25 minutes, it's crazy. Um, first thing I've noticed is that the range isn't quite so good, but it's kind of to be expected with such a small drone. Really excited to take this back to Cape Town and yeah, get some awesome shots. I don't know how well this drone is going to do in the wind. We'll test it out. We'll test it out. Might even be able to take a trail running with me. Guys, it's the all electric. It's California. ID Buzz. ID Buzz. It looks like a camper van though. In, in, in the car, go on, yes. Back home and I'm definitely gonna go out and try and get some more shots at sunset. Trees are cool and all, but those shots are a little bit average. So we're charging up. This is the other good thing about the Fly More pack. This is why I think you should get it. You get this triple battery charger and three batteries. So that's literally like, these are at least half an hour per battery. So you've got so much flying time. Go. Right, I've come to um, Christchurch and there's always seagulls here. There's always some kind of nice something or other to film. So I'm just going to put the drone up and see what we get. setting at the exact same time. <laughs> Come on. I think as a drone pilot, if you've been doing this long enough, you just get used to that anxiety inducing sound. It's just part of the part of the job, I suppose. It's nice to be flying again for sure. Bangers, bangers. Oh the sunset's looking Sunset is popping off. It actually looks better from the phone. Without the drone. Look at those beautiful clouds. I love it. I especially love this controller. This new controller is epic. May not be super exciting, but it's good to practice. Yo, I forgot to say, 
Merry Christmas, maybe even Happy New Year by the time you're watching this. And it got me thinking before I end this vlog about um, intention setting for 2023, because 2022, pretty intense for me. I don't know about you guys, let me know. A lot of transformation, a lot of shit coming to the surface to be looked at. A lot of invitations for change. And yeah, it's just got me thinking about what my intentions are for 2023 already. I'm like, okay, integration. And integration has been a word that's been coming up for me time and time again on this journey of conscious, aware transformation where I'm like, I'm actually making the conscious effort to change the parts of myself and my life and my reality that aren't working for me anymore. Probably you're also on this kind of path and integration is just like the actual work. Integration is the part where you actually make the changes it's like if you have a plant medicine journey, if you eat lots of mushrooms or drink ayahuasca or whatever the thing is, or breath work or some kind of event that actually changes who you are, the actual changes actually only happen in the integration period after the actual transformational experience. So for example, say you go and do a breath work journey or you just have a year like 2022 has been, it's like quite intense and you learn a lot about yourself and about reality and other people um, in a very short period of time. But none of that actually counts for anything unless you turn it into wisdom and wisdom is knowledge applied. So it's like, how am I taking all the lessons that I've learned so far in 2022 and actually applying them to be more wise in the choices that I make, the actions that I take, the things that I stop doing, the things that I start doing, the conversations that I stop having, the people that I start hanging out with, the people that I stop hanging out with, the things that I'm inviting in and the things that I'm letting go. That's the integration period. And that's where the actual change takes place over a period of time with practice. So what are the thoughts that keep coming up that aren't actually real, that aren't actually accurate, that are like um, limiting? And what kind of limiting beliefs are coming from those repeated thoughts? Because beliefs are simply the thoughts that we're having over and over and over again. So identify the limiting belief and then see what kind of thoughts are feeding that belief and then realize that we have the power to make the change. We have the power to choose what we think. We have the power to choose our thoughts. And then we can start rewiring our brain and start to actually create new beliefs that actually work for us a little bit better than the old beliefs do. So for me, 2023 is about integration. It's about letting go of the things that reduce my energy and doing the things that I know actually increase my energy and expand me, give me more energy to do stuff. But it's also about actually like choosing to do the things that give me more energy and then maintaining the vision of the things that I actually want to do so that when my energy is increased, I actually have a direction to pour it into. I have a North Star, I have a vision, I have a goal, you know? So anyway, let me know your thoughts on that. Thank you for watching this video. Um, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and all that good stuff. Um, I love you, I'll speak to you soon in a video very shortly. Peace.